first day of Aftershock Festival. And man, I'm enjoying this weather. I don't know about you guys. We got Straight Jacket here from San Francisco. What's up, guys? Oh, yeah, the How's weather's great. Yeah, compared to what we've compared to what we've been through recently. I know. Yeah, where where were you guys recently? Uh, just driving through Texas and New Orleans and Arizona, so it's been pretty searing hot for us. But this is nice. Yeah, right on, man. Well, yeah, it's uh, it's a beautiful start to the weekend here, and uh, these guys are playing the very first day out here. Make sure you check them out, straightjacketband.com. You guys got a new album coming out tomorrow, right? October 11th? We do indeed. I guess tonight at 9. So Tonight at 9? Yeah, oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Midnight, so there you go. That's awesome. Dude, that's killer. So, uh, yeah, congrats. Uh, the track was also, I guess, on the EA NHL 24 of official soundtrack. That's pretty cool. Yeah, bad start. Nice. I mean, not a bad start to the, the career there with right out the gate. You're on a fantastic selling video game platform and gets, gets your stuff out there to the masses and then playing festivals like this, too. It's pretty awesome, right? Uh, yeah, the coolest part is that we didn't have too much knowledge about hockey, and so they gave us a copy of NHL. Oh, nice. And so we started playing it, and we slowly like started liking the video game a what lot. What are you guys playing it on, PlayStation? Uh, That's yeah, where we yeah I think so. It, yeah. Yeah? yeah, nice. Whatever we can get our hands on. We sold our consoles for gear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, prioritize, right, a little bit. Exactly. <laughs> No, that's awesome, though. Uh, all right, so yeah, you guys. Speaking of this new album, you guys work with a pretty awesome set of uh, set of guys here. Canadian producer songwriter Brian Howes. Legend. You work with like Hinder, Skillet, a uh, bunch of bands like that, and Chris Lord Alge from Green Legend. Day, Muse, Prince. So, how was it working with those high level guys? And did it make you kind of feel inspired when you were recording this to be working with people like that? I think Brian, Brian, like was exactly who needed to make our album at the time. He knew how to like. He knew how to force us to have fun making it uh, and just kind of feel like the whole thing is a giant, long party of making music. So. Yeah, so that's interesting choice of words, like force you to have fun. Were you guys just like kind of nervous and just being like trying to be serious about it? I mean, He's we were like a long way away from home, you know what I'm yeah. saying? We were like yeah. out of our element, so I think, he, and he knew that, you know, and so a lot of times like he would just crack a lot of jokes, he would just like... We drink a little <laughs> bit, just have fun. Yeah, just tell us to get drunk and yeah. loosen up. Yeah, yeah that's cool. Kind of breaking the ice and being like, it's cool, man. Yeah, yeah right on. Definitely made some stories there. Yeah? Anything you want to share? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, so regarding songwriting, so how does it go with you guys? Like, do you work together collaborative, uh, collaborative when you write songs, or is it one person in the band's got a main idea, brings it to the rest of the guys, and you kind of piecemeal put it together? How does it work for you guys? I think that we do it in all those ways. It's never just the same thing every right. time. Like uh, sometimes one person's got an idea that's pretty fleshed out, and then we put other things around it. You know, usually it starts with an idea on an acoustic guitar and vocals, oh, okay. and lyrics. And cool. We'll just send each other voice memos and stuff. Nice. But you know, sometimes we're at the shop all together, and we'll play like a cool riff, and then we'll just like jam on it, and it's really fun to do, and then that will become something. Right. So that's how Bad Start kind of works too. Awesome. Yeah. So. Well, I, I think it was, uh, if I'm right here, it was recorded around November 2022. Were you guys dealing with any lockdown, COVID stuff, or did it make it difficult getting together or doing anything like that? Um, as uh, far as, like, yeah. Like not getting really, in the studio? And not really. A, well, by that time, it was already scheduled that we would go there and everything. Yeah. But before then, like, we were just practicing. We couldn't play shows at all. But, yeah. Do you think that kind of helped build the album and make it stronger where you guys were just focused on practicing instead of getting out there doing the shows and like honing the album for when you got I, in there? I think so, yeah. yeah. definitely. We, because of like 2020, you know, we were kind of like locked in our houses, like our jobs yep. got like, like we got laid off. And so we had a lot of free time to just get together and just jam out. Like we started off practicing Monday, Wednesday and Friday and we still do it to this day. Yeah, right on. And we're very like committed to it. And it was cool because we were still also trying to figure out who we are as a collective whole yeah and so our jam sessions would be just this like utter like beautiful mess dude yeah. it, was, it was nuts we right were like, on yeah well okay so i wanted to ask you guys about this kind of dynamic i noticed you play a lot of small clubs and then now these big festivals do you alter kind of your approach to the the set list or the fan interaction how does that kind of work and what are the maybe the pros and cons of, of kind of both the big stage and the small intimate club that you've noticed um I really like playing big shows. Like, yeah. I've noticed that that's really fun when you could just look. The farther you can look out and still see people is <laughs> yeah. really cool, and you can talk to them, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, you know, people just, like, people showing up for the intimate shows is just, like, 
really special in its own way too because you just feel like you're playing for like a group of people who are like your friends because they're yeah. just that close to you more but of a connection yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't think we like actually like have an approach to like small and big shows like a lot of times I wouldn't say we wing it but we kind of just go in with the intention knowing what's ahead of us we sure. pretty like, much wing it <laughs> <laughs> we wing it for sure and and I, I think that at first I thought it was kind of like um, it wasn't a responsible move for us but now I've realized that doing that it's kind of like second nature yeah. on like how we perform it makes now. it more natural it's, it's like it doesn't matter if there's four or four hundred or four thousand it's just right well, it's not like a forced festival set like oh we're playing this to you know get the new fans or whatever you're doing what you feel like exactly they're, like, they're, we go like there's no set list today no we show. didn't have a set nice. list <laughs> just just whatever you felt like playing that's cool though man I mean that that's got to translate to the crowd and I'm sure they respond to that like it's like watching somebody rehearsing in their private garage or something like that yeah. that feeling you know I like seeing bands like that it's really yeah. cool uh, okay so how's Aftershock compared to some of the other festivals you played a couple of their big festivals what what do you say like is Aftershock better or worse what, what do you like about it compared to some of the other ones we love <laughs> playing festivals and yes, actually back in I believe somewhere around March we played in uh, Rockville which is May. also oh, yeah. May May sorry welcome May. to Rockville yep and that was also hosted by Danny Wimmer and so we went into Aftershock having that knowledge and it's still very much similar you know we we were enjoying like the golf carts that'll help take us they were very accommodating to a lot of what we need the sound crew and and like the people loading in and out of our gear they were all really kind you right. know like and the biggest thing is like you're playing a festival you know like i think with aftershock at least it was it was a little heart not a little it was heartwarming for sure knowing that like we're playing in like home turf yeah you know? it's like a hometown festival in a way so i mean i think we we had a lot of fun besides like the technical difficulties we had a lot of fun yeah playing and for. also it was smoldering hot in florida too and, not, and here <laughs> oh, there's yeah. a nice breeze yeah. it's a good breeze yeah for sure <laughs> don't have that florida humidity yeah. right uh all right so 2025 it looks like aftershock i think is the last date for you guys for this year right uh, do you have any other tour dates for 2024? Oh no, we. I mean, we're touring. Yeah, this right was the start this is the of the first start. Oh, okay, the yeah. first show of the tour, and then we're heading to Seattle. Right. Uh, yeah. And then 2025, what's it looking like for you guys next year? That is a question for our management that we don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're not. We're not tapped in I don't, okay. next year yet. I don't think we have anything like booked yet. But we. I mean, I know the second we are back home, we'll just like start practicing like normal again because we haven't been able to practice in like maybe two months like in our same like are you gonna routine. write write some new music or oh yeah 100 yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Awesome. oh yeah yeah so yeah yeah we're writing more music too so, so maybe maybe going. next year something maybe like a single or anything maybe i hope maybe. so yeah i don't know who knows, <laughs> who knows? all right well make sure you guys check them out straight jacket ba- uh, straight jacket band.com for a copy of their debut album bad start which we've been talking about check out their merch tour dates and more thank you guys so much for coming out here enjoy thank the rest you. of your weekend thank, thank you, you very so much, much for having us, us.